Hey Taurus, welcome to your racy card reading. If you're easily offended, please click off now. I don't want to offend anybody. I just want to give a variety of readings. Okay, and a variety of decks of cards. I'll leave information on what decks of cards I use in the description box, along with how to contact me for personal readings. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Oh, the answer is yes. Anyway, here, we're going through some recovery. Ask your angels for help and guidance at this time, okay? They'll... They, all you have to do is ask and they can come in and help you here. Um, you are going through some sort of recovery, whether that's from like a flu or a cold or something like that. We can see those sorts of things going on. Also, it can be recovery after heartbreak and upset and things like that, you know, destruction in your life that you're now starting to feel much more centered and balanced, I feel here. And we can see the sheltering of the angel as well. Um, and if you have a question here, the answer is yes with an exclamation mark. So it definitely seems like 100% yes is the answer for you guys. Of course, it is a racy card reading. So it does look like you'll be saying yes and entertaining this. Four of Swords. So again, this recovery that we see. Um, not making any movements just yet. Might be because... You're feeling a little bit stubborn or recovering from a cold or something. That's the Four of Swords there. It may be that somebody has not made a movement towards you yet, but they're still thinking about you and you're on the right track. The Empress here, wonderful. This is somebody being drawn to you, wanting you, desiring you here. Could be pregnancies for some um, coming in. Um, so, yeah. You'll be feeling back to yourself very soon. If you're not feeling 100%, you will be feeling back to yourself very soon. Um, it might be that maybe your thoughts at the moment are a little bit down, um, sad. You know, we go through stages in life, ups and downs, don't we? Four of Pentacles here. Um, so it could be, you know, money problems and things like that. But again, we're seeing this 444 saying you're on track, spend and save wisely if you're struggling for money. But this is somebody like that you just can't get off your mind or somebody cannot get you off their mind here. They can't let go. Holding on to each other, maybe even thinking about each other but haven't made a move towards each other yet. But it seems like I can't let go. I want somebody here. Seven of Cups. There may be people making you offers but it's only like you only want one person. You already have your heart set on one person here. We can see this person even in the mirror. Um, some of you may need to shave your legs. <laughs> um, and that could be what you're doing here as well. Uh, I'm not going to go deeper into that. Eight of Pentacles. Um, some of you are going to meet somebody when you return to work. So prep yourself. Get ready. Um... It might be like, I keep seeing somebody in these soulmate readings, but I don't have anybody. You're about to meet somebody at work if that's the case because you're drawing them in. This is like beautifying yourself, um, shaving what's necessary and um, <laughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> preparing yourself, okay? This is Venus coming in, making you more attractive, making you glow. So you might feel like doing these self care things at the moment okay they'll make you feel much more better so if you're feeling a bit stressed you know soaking a long bath here somebody's definitely coming in for others of you this is trying to recover a relationship from your past something that already has a stable foundation you want to nurse better here this is what i'm seeing some of you could be wearing some nurses Outfits at Halloween, um, something dressy up here, some role play going on here. And this is the five of wands. So yeah, I feel like you've had challenges and obstacles in your way in the romantic life, but you're going to overcome them. Um, here, you're going to be able to work on building the connection back up or healing the connection here with the recovery and the four of swords healing there. Um, this is 
in your fifth house, I feel like you may have arguments with friends, family and things like that. Even maybe children um, or your parents here, those sorts of things going on. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing options coming your way. And some of you just have your heart set on one person. And if you're asking, would they return? Yes. Is someone coming into my life here? Yes, they are. Can I overcome these arguments? Yes, here. If you feel like a bit down and need support, ask your angels to surround you and send um, positive energy your way here. Somebody who was not putting effort into you is now going to double their effort with you. They're going to fight for you here with the five of wands. So the eight is transformation, change, coming back, that infinity sign. So we're forever changing um, and revisiting something that is unfinished business or needs healing. And this is what I'm seeing. Um, so here we see, I, well, I see you guys, you know, heading straight to bed here. So it's like you making up, um, somebody doubling their efforts and you maybe not be able to resist their efforts now. Let's see. So, yeah, this is the Knight of Wands here. So, as you can see, they have a huge wand that they're going to charm you with here. This is somebody charming, self-confident. So, I feel like maybe you have this self-confidence, but this person just seems to sweep you off your feet or charm your pants off you here, um, charms you into bed. Um I feel like, you know, you're very excited to be desired in this way. It may have been that you haven't for a long time. And this is why we need to have this prep with the Seven of Cups over here. And um, you're like, okay, I, f I forgot. I need to, you know, smarten up a bit here. <laughs> That's for some. Um, if it's guys, you might be taking yourself to the barbershop, getting a hair trim and, um, you know, and this gorgeous lady just walks into your life with this Knight of Wands here. This is somebody very attractive. You'll already, once you see them, you'll realize who they are. Because this Four of Swords is um, related to Libra, the Justice card. And I feel like they have this pull to them, like from a past life here. But also very sexy and charming and things like that. The Fool. They are going to come into your life very fast here and take the chance to sweep you off your feet, off, make you an offer that you um, try to refuse because maybe you're standing your ground here. I'm telling you, do the prep work because you might end up in a situation like, damn, I didn't shave my legs. <laughs> Just don't shoot the messenger, okay? Okay, okay, two more jumped out over here. The Chariot and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is... I feel like both of you are now ready because somebody is walking uh, forward here. Somebody is walking back here, but you're walking towards each other. Um, and the chariot, this is a fated meeting of somebody on the same vibration as you. This is why they're coming into your life here. Um, the chariot card seven there it is about relationship, romantic relationships, long term relationships. So this is a fated meeting that lasts a long time. You know, they're getting steamy in the back of this car here. And yeah, I really feel like it's just the right time to meet them. Destiny is about to take you maybe in a new direction when you meet this person. It, it's, it's leaning towards a new person here, but I, I definitely feel um, for some, it's somebody walking back towards you. They may have gone off in front of you and now they're coming back towards you here because these are two fast people. Um, this it, It's like you'll go from zero to a hundred real quick. Like you're talking on your horses here and then all of a sudden, how did we end up here? And this is why you need to do the prep work, guys. <laughs> Yeah, don't shoot the messenger. It's, it's nothing to do with me. It's not my fault. But yeah, um, fate's about to step in. We have fate and Venus here. So this is um, love coming in very quickly, very quickly. And it will last a long time with these major arcana. It's not somebody who's going to rush out very quickly. You may feel that. 
Um, okay, if I give in to them, they may leave very quickly. It's not the case here. This is somebody who um, is staying around. Um, so this is the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it's somebody who's going to be very kind and gentle with you. I feel like what they show you in the beginning, in the first meeting, might be ego. But then under that, there is this beautiful, kind soul. Somebody who you can be with and um, connect with and understand here. You might meet them at work. There's a lot going on in regards to money here as well. Or trying to work for yourself. You'll be very successful um, by taking a chance if that's the case, okay? Good luck, guys.